sitting in the 94 Mustang. I want to briefly go over with you guys how we got the uh, cluster or the speedometer to work to show the speed, the speed needle. You know, how fast you're going. So it works. Uh, let me tell you how it happened. So I ended up asking Oris again, uh, and thank you Oris by the way for fixing or figuring out the issue. After a bunch of papers, he printed out. And well, the thing is though, he took his time and uh, found out that the ground was actually bad. Okay, here it is. Right there. That changed our whole that changed our whole gear ratio and our speed ratio, I guess. Somehow, I don't know the details. I don't want to get into details, but the fact is that there had to be a box installed to simulate or to calculate the speed that we're going, the vehicle speed. Because if we hook in directly into the speed sensor, it shows a different speed than we're really going. And I'll show you how I checked that. I have a app on my phone where it's a speedometer app and it shows you exactly how fast you're going. And then I was off usually on a highway about 10, 15 miles off. So anyway, while me and Norris are wondering, what is this box for? Let me step outside because this is too loud. We're like, what is this box for? Well, what is the box for? Well, I wired it back in again, and guess what? It actually started working, showing the speed properly. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay. So this is the box. I don't know the exact name for it. It gives us the output of the proper speed that we're going. And you can see I temporarily just wired it in. That's how it actually was wired. We're gonna have to solder this. But it actually works. It shows us the proper speed. And this is the ground that, we were, that was bad. There's the ground right here. As you can see, it comes in right here. So that was the issue with the speedometer. That's why the needle didn't move because of the ground. So the ground was bad. Hey, look, I got you a parking there, dude. It's paid for too. No problem, bro. No problem. You want to say anything? Say subscribe to my channel, maybe? Subscribe. There you Good go. Good stuff. Thank you. That's only going to get better. Thank you. Thank you. I'm here. Oh, yeah, by the way, I went to the uh, X scan today at the gym. Yeah? Yeah, they told me I was fat. I'm going to tell me the same thing. <laughs> Uh, it's going to measure your uh, body composition, uh -huh. body fat percentage, measurements, um, and we're going to be looking at muscular imbalances. Um, so I'm going to know exactly where I'm strongest and weakest mm -hmm. at what points in my body. Mm -hmm. That is great. That is excellent. And how long this usually takes? Um, depending on how long the computer takes, it could take, um, I don't know, 10, 20 minutes. Okay, cool. Okay, so this is what I'm doing. I'm going to be standing right here and I'm going to take off my shirt and do my boxers. So basically, I will not be filming that process. But this is what's going to happen is it's going to, I'm going to stand on there and then it's going to spin me around all the way and I have to stand in this position. So let's see what it's going to do. All right. Okay. So that seems like it's pretty average. Right. Um, so it's saying that your body fat percentage is 17.4%. Uh -huh. um, for men, um, it's it's an okay range. Mm -hmm. For men, generally, you want to be anywhere from five body fat percentage to fifteen. Oh wow! So um, I'm over it a little bit. So yeah, especially if you want to have that lean, you know, cut mm -hmm. bulk, you know, bulky look, that hypertrophy, um, gotcha. muscular building. Um, you want to get maybe to at least I don't know. I would say like maybe eleven percent, maybe twelve. Um, when you start getting down into like know five or you know eight percent that's when it's kind of like well that's where I used to be <laughs> <laughs> yeah um, but depending on how much you know you are gonna need to have a little bit higher body fat percentage for the, the larger bulk um, mm -hmm. but to give you that nice cut look you, you're gonna want to be under 15 percent okay so can I lose 17 pounds by the next scan who knows who knows probably lose eight pounds maybe 10 pounds but i don't think i could lose 17 pounds so apparently i'm overweight hmm. she's put me on some strict diet for sure so anyway all right let's see what we can do let's... viewers subscribe to my channel to see more of awesomeness <laughs>
You can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter.